Welcome! In front of me is a CMF Phone 1 and today I will show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this phone. To get started, let's open up our settings. And I'm going to begin with the display section right over here. And here we have a couple things like the uh, dark theme right over here. So the device comes by default with dark mode enabled. Now, if you're not a fan of this, you can actually change it right here. You can either permanently turn it on or off. In this case, like if it's obviously by default on, you might want to turn it off. Uh, but anyway, you can change that right here. And you can also tap on the text itself and change it so it automatically turns dark theme, for instance, during the ninth time. Uh, and you can change that in a couple different ways. So you have the um, use dark mode or the schedule. And you have uh, turn on at a custom time. Uh, from sunset to sunrise or turn on at bedtime not really sure how it defines bedtime maybe there's a setting there but i can choose uh, any of these uh, and it will then automatically switch between these two modes um so hopefully it would give you the best option for your need at the current time now moving a little bit further now we have the status bar uh this is something that android used to have but for some reason most manufacturers removed that uh, so it basically allows you to toggle off specific icons from the status bar and this would include things like bluetooth uh, wi-fi and so on and you can see that already some of them are actually turned off like the battery percentage and so on but you can toggle off a bunch of other ones like do not disturb most bluetooth um earphones uh vo let uh, and a couple other ones location and uh, screencast now this one is a little bit more limited as it doesn't allow you to turn off uh, everything that you might see like for instance nfc doesn't really show up here and probably most of us have nfc enabled this device probably actually has nfc enabled right now let's see or i'm sure it has nfc so Sure it has but can't find it i'm not going to dwell too, too long on this one uh so yeah you can basically take a off bunch of the application or icons that would be showing up here um which is pretty nice it allows you to clean up your status bar of clutter now, moving a little bit further down we have colors this allows you to choose the saturation of the display by default almost every device comes with a uh something like super saturated typically it's called vivid uh here it's called alive um so you can switch between those and by goodness there is like no discernible difference to me let me just bring it up closer yeah i i genuinely okay i have to give props to uh to nothing because it's a company obviously uh they're alive profile is basically as saturated as the standard and that means that it's actually pretty good that's probably one of the reasons why i didn't actually get too agitated by this uh by this display as it's not like stupidly colorful like other devices so it has a more realistic tone to it the saturation isn't completely cranked the hell up for no reason so props to them for this uh if you're not a fan of this like desaturated look uh, more natural one then i'm sorry there's no like workaround here by default because there are only two modes but additionally in here you can also change the color temperature so if you if you feel like the uh, whiteness is a little bit too bluish for you you can change it to more warm as you can see though just a single step is actually making it like much warmer so yeah and obviously you can also go the other way so more bluish so there we go now going back we also have under here the display uh, refresh rate and we have a couple of options we have high and standard now for people that don't really see a difference between uh, high and standard uh high runs at 120 hertz when it needs to and standard only at 60 when it needs to uh, the reason i'm mentioning that is because by default it will be enabled on high and if you don't really see a difference in like a scrolling uh smoothness here compared to like the 60 you'd need to switch them to actually check it out uh then it's probably more beneficial for you to switch it down to standard which will give you better battery life and obviously who doesn't like to charge their phone less i do personally prefer the 120 as i do see a big difference for me so i'm gonna keep it on that 
And here we have also HDR display, so enables uh, peak brightness for HDR content. Uh, this will increase battery usage. Again, if you don't really display any kind of HDR content, you might want to disable that, uh, and it might might uh, give you better battery life. It doesn't really specify if it increases the battery life all the time, even when you're not displaying the uh, HDR content, or is it only when you're actually displaying the HDR content. It might be the latter, as it would need more brightness at that time specifically, uh, but like I said, it's not specified, so you might be getting better battery life, and if you're not watching any kind of HDR content on here, it won't really ma make much of a difference to you. Now, if we go back to the main settings page, next we have the customization section. And here we have a bunch of things that we can customize about the look and feel of the device. Uh, we have uh, AI wallpaper. So these are randomly generated by like AI. I haven't actually ever used those. Um, so you should be able to get like some interesting wallpapers and they try to adapt to colors. You can, I think, also pick them specifically. Um, and additionally, we have more customization right here. So we have things like icon packs right over here. And it looks like we have a couple that come pre-installed. So we have the nothing icon packs, we have the default one, and then we have the uh, color, whatever that is. I'm gonna stick with the nothing one. Uh, and we also have the color scheme right here, which defines the uh, color of the tiles. Now here just use calculators, but oh, there we go. There is our pull down menu. So by default here, looks like it's just primarily white and gray. Uh, but you can change it and it should oh there we go there is one oh it takes a moment to change okay so you can see for instance uh the settings button i think it is right here right yep it becomes green um calculator has now more flair to it with green and kind of pinkish colors uh, but all in all for the most part it is sticking with the kind of uh monochromish look and we also have the basic color so this just kind of allows you to change everything to a single kind of color. It also changes the white to that color. So, not sure if it's visible. Yeah, it is. You can see the shift in color on the white background. So, I'm going to stick with this one as... Yeah. Although this one also changes the, the color of the white here. So, anyway. Um... Anything else that we have right here? We have also widgets and shortcuts along with more. Let's see what we get under more. So here we have the uh, lock screen. So this is a completely different uh, section in the settings. Uh, lock screen. I haven't checked it out what's in here, but it doesn't look like anything worth mentioning. Uh, it's just the same old, same old. Now, if we go back to the main set settings page and let's scroll down, we will have, I think it's under system. Yep, under system we have gestures and here we have a couple things we have the navigation mode so this allows you to choose between the gestures and three button navigation uh gestures actually gets enabled by default on this device when you go to the setup so if you do prefer the buttons you can change them right here additionally gestures does have additional options in here and one of those is something that i like to do which is the hiding of navigation bar which can toggle off in here and it just gets rid of the bar from being visible on the screen. It really serves no purpose to be visible. Uh, well, obviously, once you turn it off, it still retains the same exact functionality of gestures, just doesn't show you the bar. Uh, additionally, we also have the uh, swipe to invoke at the assistant. I personally like to turn that off. What it does is this kind of thing. Come on. Oh, there we go. So when you swipe from the side like so, it will bring up your Google Assistant. I don't ever use that, so I like to turn it off as I do sometimes manage to somehow enable it. Uh, so instead of going home, I will swipe up in a weird angle and bring up the Assistant that I never use, so it just annoys me. And one last thing in here is the uh, left and right edge. This is the sensitivity of the back gesture. So uh, when you start swiping them, it actually brings this kind of... Uh, blue uh, border and this is where your finger needs to be for the gesture to be activated so once you start swiping from this area out of it that's uh, what activates the gesture and if you find it that it doesn't always register it you can increase it uh, this will make it more sensitive to the back gesture or you can decrease it if you find it that you sometimes activate it when you don't want to i'll keep it at the default as this is what i'm just used to and anyway that would conclude Actually, no, one last thing that I wanted to show is a couple of the presets right here. Uh, so it doesn't conclude yet. Um, so we have the uh, screenshot gesture right here. Uh, 
these are actually pretty interesting it allows you to capture a screenshot and not just like a full screen but if you hold the three fingers on it and swipe down you can actually capture a specific region of the screen so this is more like a cropped screenshot pretty nice option that not many devices actually have uh, we have also one-handed mode in here uh, if you do like to use that you can enable it right here uh, it just allows you to it, Typically one-handed mode would kind of shrink everything. This one just shifts the screen kind of off. Uh, personally, not the biggest fan of this one as what it does, if I just enable it, let's now find something to... I kind of want to showcase what I'm referring to. So if we are in here like so, you can see the keyboard is still open but it's completely off the screen as it shifts the position of the display. So it's still keeping the same display. It's just kind of doing whoop. Uh, so the keyboard goes off the screen. Not the best implementation in my opinion. So uh, if you like it, you can do it. Obviously it works better uh, for like specific application where you just want to shift it down and tap something that would be typically on the higher half of the screen. Uh, but for instance, that's primarily where you're gonna be using it when you want to access something on the uh, higher portion of the, the screen, which it, uh, at this point, if I'm going to be like swiping it down, clicking on it, and then having to like, you know, press here anyway to bring it back up, I might as well just move my finger to click whatever I want right here. So uh, I don't necessarily like this. But uh, if you like it, uh, all the power to you. Now, in here we also have, uh, let's go back to the gestures, there we go. Uh, we have a double uh, press power button. So this by default is a camera. Personally, I do like Torch. I do use uh, the flashlight on the phones much more. So now with this being enabled, all I need to do is just double press it and voila, it brings up the camera. This is something that I that I like when a device offers and not every phone actually has this option, which is a shame. And going back, we also have a couple of things like a RAM boost right here. Uh, so it allows you to convert some of the storage into RAM. Uh, this device comes with sufficient amount of RAMs, but maybe if you find it that you're running out of it, you can switch that to uh, something else like 2, 4, or 8. Keep in mind that it won't be as good as having actual, like, uh, if, if this is right now 6 gigs of RAM uh, with plus 2, that would obviously make it 8. Uh, so it wouldn't make it as good as actual 8 gigs of RAM, as the device still technically has 6 gigs. It's just using much slower uh, storage as a RAM now. So there we go. This concludes the tweaks, tricks, but on the showcase. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.